guys, it's May here. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's been a long time, almost one week. I didn't post anything on this channel. Sorry, guys, I apologize. I was just very busy. Anyhow, today we are going to make giniling. And uh, the meat that we're going to use for today is lean ground beef with shrimps. Just a reminder, when you guys clean your shrimps, don't forget to cut the middle part and remove that antistine on, you know, that black stuff on top. That's the, the shrimp antistine. So just remove that because, you know, it's really yucky. So anyhow, today, this is the kind of shrimps that I'm using. Uh, they're nice and big. Look. So, the ingredients for my giniling for today, it's very plain and simple, very easy to prepare. So, I have here the brown mushrooms. The way I clean my mushroom, I just remove the top of it. That's all you need to do. And then over here, I have my carrots. I have the bottom part of the scallions or the green onions. This is the top part. I have here one regular size of the red onions. I have five cloves of garlic. Over here, I have my shrimps. This is half, um, half a kilo of shrimps. And as you guys can see, I remove the skin. With this skin, I'm going to add a little bit of water on it and then pound it and then use the water to add on the sauce because it gives the shrimpy, shrimpy flavor. So we have here some potatoes and I'm going to add a sweet potato on my uh, beef and shrimp giniling. And of course, we have one big can of diced tomatoes. Over here on my wok, I already started my beef, you guys. Because with the beef, I normally remove the liquid. As you guys can see here on the side, that is not oil. That is liquid Well, with a little bit of oil. So we have to remove that so that when we do our cooking, we don't get those aftertaste. One thing that I don't like when I'm eating is when they it has like aftertaste or the food or the meat has a smell on it. So friends, as you guys can see, look at that. Uh, the water is uh, extracting from the meat with a little bit of oil from the meat. So we need to remove that. I put three tablespoons of cooking oil. And you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that you guys want. So the first thing we're going to saute is the garlic. The garlic. There you go. We are going to wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color. And then we're going to add the red onions. Okay, next. The red onions. And the bottom part of the scallions or the green onions. Next, we're going to add the shrimp. These are big ones, you guys. It looks small on on the video, but technically, like they're big. Look at that. We are going to cover them and we're going to give them a chance to extract their natural flavor and then I'll show you guys the next step. Let's cover them and we wait. After five minutes, let's check. Mix. I apologize for the noise. 
I try to lessen the noise when I use this one. I prefer to use this than the wooden spoon when I'm, I'm doing this kind of dish is because with a wooden spoon, you it's so hard to mix them. It's not that good. Okay, look at my shrimped. <laughs> my sister called it shrimped. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, next, we are going to add our crushed tomatoes. Ooh, lots of tomatoes. It's good. And this is 796 meals. All right. Let's cover them back. And then we'll wait again for another five minutes. Okay, guys, for fi after five minutes, let's check our food. <laughs> Smells good. Mix. And then we are going to season this. Very plain and simple. Okay. Um, we are going to use one tablespoon of the chicken broth mix. This is by Noor. I love using Noor product. It's so good. Okay, one tablespoon. And then fresh grind black pepper. And then we are going to add our mushrooms. Mushrooms is good. Our potatoes. So we have the orange and we have the regular potato. And our carrots. The carrots. There you go. We are going to mix it. Again, guys, you have to please your palate. That doesn't mean that I use one tablespoon of the North seasoning mix. And uh, I put a fresh bl uh, grind black pepper on this dish that you need to follow. You have to please your palate all the time because that is the only way you guys can taste the, the, the goodness of the food that you make. Oh, I forgot to put some um, garlic powder. Just give me one sec. So, just like that, garlic powder. One, two. I love garlic. So, I'm not putting any salt on this dish because I find that the chicken broth mix is already salty. But if you guys want to uh, put some salt on this dish, then that's fine. And again, Please your palate. And then we are going to cover this. We're going to let them simmer for about five minutes again. And that's it. We're going to cover it and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay guys, after five minutes. Woo. We have to be careful not to overcook our potatoes because otherwise, no, it doesn't taste good to, to eat it. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is, remember this one guys, I just keep mixing it. I put a little bit of water in it. So, just gonna pour the juice. And then we are also going to add the rest of our scallions. There you go. And then we mix. Mixing, mixing. Okay. 
They're not cooked yet, so we're going to cover them again for another five minutes, and that's it. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Friends, this is our finished product. This is our beef and shrimp giniling. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys are new on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you guys again for watching. And see you guys on my next video. Bye for now.